Dan to Andrea's kitchen and today I'm going to do a requested recipe. I'm going to do some bhaji with some salt fish. Another word that we use for salt fish is cut fish. So um, this is the bhaji here and this is one bunch of bhaji. You know we call it a bunch of bhaji. So one bunch of bhaji and um, in Jamaica they call this kalaloo. Kalaloo. But we don't call this kalaloo in Trinidad. We call it bhaji. We have another name for kalaloo. Okay, which is dashing leaf. Alright, so um, for this recipe, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to use one bunch of bhaji and some shredded salt fish or cut fish. Finely shredded, must be finely shredded. You don't want no bones in this because if you're serving like little children, you don't want the bones to be stuck in their throat. So you have to go and do CPR and that stuff, right? So you take the bones off and you shred it nicely. And three cloves of garlic. Three cloves of garlic and a small chopped onion. Also for this recipe, one carrot. And you want to you want to give the carrot a sort of shape. You see all of them has the same shape, it's sort of slanted, so it will give some uniformity to your recipe. Um, I have a bonnet pepper, another name for this pepper in Trinidad is Congo pepper. And a small tomato, or tomatoes, as we say in Trinidad. And to put that extra trini kind of zesty, Two long stalks of shadow belly or culantro, okay? And some green onions. Just two of them. So here we go. This is what we do first. You take the stalk. You take the stalk and you want to cut out. You see which part they have that rubber band? This part of the stalk is hard. This part here, you see, you see how this color is different from here? This is the soft part. So this is what you want to use. So I'm gonna cut off. This section here and the scar of it. Alright? And what I'm going to do, I'm going to rinse out in cold water. Not hot water, because you don't want to start the cooking process by putting it in um hot water. And remember, it is um it is green, so you don't want to wash out all those nutrients from it by using um hot water. So you wash it, you take your time and you wash it nicely. You wash it nicely and I leave it to leave the water to run in it for a couple of seconds, okay? Alright, so what we do now, I'm um, using you could use an iron pot if you want. If you don't have a um wok, use an iron pot. So I'm gonna put this medium to high heat. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put some oil. Now you can use any type of oil that you have, but I have here some extra virgin oil. So I'm gonna put like about Two tablespoons of oil inside of here. Two tablespoons of oil. I have to move real fast now. So while that oil is being hot, what you do? You take the cal the um kalaloo bush or the bhaji and you chop it up. Be careful, water and oil is not good friends. You hear that noise it makes? That's because a little spill of water got into it, okay? So you're gonna put it back in here. Take the rest and just give it a nice chop, right? And this is this is really a nourishing um, meal, okay? Loaded with iron and vitamins and all them stuff. So this is good. This is healthy eating. You make sure you chop it up. All right. So to the pot, to the wok, these three um garlic. You don't want to chop up your garlic in small pieces. You just want to give it a little mash up, right? And you throw it in. You throw it in. Let's sizzle around a little bit. It just, this is get discolored real quickly. That garlic just get discolored real quickly. So what you want to do now is you want to throw in the onion, right? Throw in the onion because the onion has a lot of water in it. It's not going to go in the garlic. Let that cook. Now, you put in a piece of thyme. You throw in a piece of thyme, two, two stalks of thyme. You just throw it inside it. Right? You chop up. You chop up the um, culantro and the green onion. I'm not going to put any... Um, sweet pepper because everything is green and you don't want that 
the little tomatoes and the young carrot came out fine. So this is what you call a fast pot also. You understand? Real fast pot. And you give it a little toss. You toss it around. You can smell all the aroma. Oh my goodness. It smells so good. Alright, so the next thing you do, you wash and you remember you wash everything. Cut up the tomatoes. One one tomato. Or one tomato. It's not custom saying tomato, no, it's not tomato say tomato. But I love this tomato. Right? Goes inside there also. Right? So one one inside there. Alright, next thing you put in your carrots. The last thing you want to put in is the carrots. Because you want all these softer vegetables to cook nicely. Right? You can close up. You see how it looks like? Alright, so now you put in the carrots. One carrot. Alright, so um pepper. You cut off that tip. And remember, you want to take all the seeds because if you have little kids and stuff like that, you want the you want the children to enjoy, really enjoy it. I'm not going to put a whole pepper. I'm going to use half a pepper. I don't want nobody screaming off your pain. Right? One pepper. Half a pepper in fact. And you toss it around and let it cook. Oh, this is smelling so good. Now, you put in, you see all the, you see all the um, salt fish and cut fish is shredded? Look how nicely, no bones in it. You want to throw that in. Throw that in. And you toss it around. What a combination of colors. All the time, you could land through. Salt fish and tomatoes. Everything is in here. Now you have to season the pot a little bit. So, I'm going to season it with a little bit of black pepper. Just a little bit, okay? A little black pepper. And you're good to go. And this, as I said, is a fast pot. Now, you're going to put in the bhaji or the callaloo inside now. Healthy eating folks. Sometimes, you know. Healthy, healthy eating. Up this piece, this piece. And you give it pot a toss. Now this work is a medium to high. You can leave it like that because it needs to cook. Don't give vegetable yet. You know in Trinidad we say you boil down like bhaji. Which means you should say you have nothing to say. You melt it down. So look at the amount of um kalaloo bush or bhaji is in here. And when you come back. You're gonna see how it's melted on. I'll be back. Okay. So now I'm gonna check this pot. Final check. I checked it twice. Oh, look how this has boiled down. So what you do, you unplug. Okay? Or you turn off your pot. You see how the bhaji melt down? I tell it melt. It melt down like bhaji. So this, this is what you call kalaloo bush or kalaloo with salt fish or bhaji and salt fish. So I'm gonna display it for you. So what I'm gonna do. I have some plant in here and some cornmeal dumpling. So I'm gonna just display. This is gonna be a real nice meal. treat. Okay? Even put some on top here. All right? So this is how it looks like. My bhaji and salt fish with some cornmeal dumpling and some boiled plantain. So see you again with another video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button in the bottom and let me know by adding on a, co a comment as to what videos you want me to prepare again from the islands or from Trinidad and Tobago. So this is Gail Andrea signing off and see you with another video. Bye!